Oh, yeah! Well, we go backstage and we get a great p- promo from Austin Theory, who tells us Roman always has the bloodline, so he went with the next best thing in champions, Seth Rollins, who has the U.S. championship. And even though he failed to cash in, now he has no anchors and no excuses. Dolph Ziggler interrupts him, and this sets up a match later tonight. What do you think about uh, this promo we got from Austin Theory right here? Uh, a, this was his best promo he's done yet. Uh, he looked serious. It was. Uh, it made me believe in this guy, just not only as a, a threat, but just as a future superstar of this business. Not star, superstar of this company. So I really enjoyed that a lot. And also, it's super logical what he said. Like, if I'm holding that briefcase, Roman hasn't lost in over two and a half years. What makes you think you're going to go in there and beat him when you've tried to cash in multiple times and every time something always happens? Why don't you go for the next best thing? Why don't you go for Rollins? Why don't you go for that title that is on your brand, that is the top title on your brand? So everything he said to me was A, logical, and B, it just 100% as a character for him made 100% sense. So I loved every ounce of that. And then also getting the chance to have Ziggler pop in. I get annoyed when I see Ziggler on my screen, and then we'll talk about the match later, but always 10 minutes into the match, I'm like, oh yeah, that's why we watch Ziggler. That's awesome. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> so so I, I, I liked every ounce of this. And also, I wanted to shout out to Triple H on this one. I think the promo was supposed to be in the ring, and then I think Triple H realized that, no, he needs to cut a good promo and not have the crowd react to what's happening so that he can actually cut a, everything he wants to say, get the emotion behind it without crowd chanting what or you were stupid or anything like that. So I think doing it backstage was a perfect call. That's something I want to talk about as well is uh, during the beginning of the night when we've seen Seth Rollins come out for his promo is the crowd is when he does bring up Austin Theory, the crowd does start chanting that like Theory is stupid and they're, you know, relaying to the fact that Theory cashed in his money in the bank on Seth Rollins for the U.S. Championship, they're not alluding to the fact that Theory cashed in and failed. I, I'm I'm almost positive that's a major thought process of the fan base out there that it, it's stupid to use the money in the bank on the U.S. Championship. But yet again, it makes more. It makes perfect sense. It makes absolute sense. It's the best thing that they could have done. And it would have been even better had he succeeded on that cash in. Yeah. It would have been. It, it is a. It is great storytelling. Dude, okay, can I, and I want. I want to say this too. So, like uh, on what culture? I think it was uh, Adam Wilborn. Like went off and said how dumb he was to do that. And here's why it's not. I think Triple H. Uh, I, I praise the guy all the time because I think he's a great booker. Triple H was handed a person who had money in the bank contract who really didn't. He wasn't ready yet for that contract. He wasn't ready to be a champion. If Theory cashed in and got beat in no time by Roman, he looks dumb. If Theory cashes in and beats Roman, and he's the one that beats Roman after Roman's run that he's been on, the fans will turn on that dude like no one's business, and he will never recover. He will get more. We'll have another Roman Reigns situation from 2015. Yeah. Yes, and that's exactly where I was going to go with it. Is he's just there is no way that that dude could have ever recovered from it. So. Triple H was handed something and then found a way to get it off of him and not make him look dumb at all and then do the promo this week that makes him rationalize everything that makes sense. And then we'll talk about more stuff later why he may have quote unquote looked like the dumbest human being last week, but he came across this week as a bigger star than he had ever been. So we'll talk about it more, but that I, everything about this to me is been perfect for the terrible situation it started. Thank you for listening to Cream of the Corrupt Wrestling. You can embrace the madness by finding us on Facebook at facebook.com slash cream of the corrupt wrestling. Follow us on Twitter at cream of the corrupt W. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by typing cream of the corrupt wrestling in the search bar. Have fun with us on TikTok at cream of the corrupt wrestling. And you can always find full episodes of the podcast wherever podcasts are found.
Nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Or I'm talking about all the way to the top, yeah. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. You know that I'm the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Oh yeah.